Hi there, Autumn Bear. Answering the question, what are antiviral herbs? Um, I'm assuming the question is coming um, in reflection of, you know, what kinds of herbs are antiviral and what you can take to help reduce viral infections and or bacterial infections. Um, so I'll kind of roll with that for a minute. Uh, there's There are so many variety of herbs that are going to stimulate the body in a variety of ways to help boost the immune system. And so we want to talk a, a, about a few things. Um, in Chinese medicine, the energetic property that sits most on the surface of the body is what we call Wei Qi. And Wei Qi is stimulated mostly by the um, upward parts of any plant. Um, so the flower aspect or the fruit aspect of a plant is going to affect the Wei Qi and help nourish that particular type of qi and help keep the body's immune system um, flowing and, and healthy. But in particular, um, I really love to use not just actually citrus. Um, you know, a lot of people are really big on, on getting fruits that have vitamin C. Um, for me, something that is actually less damp forming because some, some actual fruits can cause a lot of dampness and or phlegm in the body. So we wanna in, enhance the, the body's immune system without encumbering it with certain amounts of phlegm. And um, so one aspect I really like is actually using rose hips. Uh, rose hips have a tremendous amount of vitamin C um, and you can add them to all kinds of teas. In fact, I'm gonna include a tea recipe for you on my website and certainly with this video. Uh, that, is, that is basically a combination of hibiscus and rose hips um, and using the peel of various different citrus fruits like lemon peel and orange peel actually have incredibly high amounts of bioflavonoids and antioxidants, which we all know to kind of help boost the immune system, but they don't have too much sugar and they don't increase the amount of dampness and or phlegm in the body. So I really like using those aspects of herbs to kind of boost the immune system, especially in the winter time. Um, we can add elderberry. Elderberry is an incredible um, little dried berry that has wonderful antiviral properties. In fact, um, it fights against the flu and various different colds in a tremendous way. Um, so you can certainly add elderberry to some of your uh, more flowery herbs, as it were. And other things, you know, just adding things in, in the diet that are gonna help boost the immune system. Onions and garlic. Garlic is one of the most um, prolific herbs when it comes to antiviral and antibacterial properties. So um, whoever said an apple a day keeps a doctor away obviously didn't eat enough garlic. Um, so I would highly recommend, especially in those colder months, um, garlic and onions are very warming. So if you're able to eat those, those aspects of food, um, I highly recommend amping those up in the winter. It keeps the internal aspect of the body warm so that it doesn't succumb to a lot of the um, viruses and colds that, that circulate around those offices. Um, and definitely enjoy you know, high amounts of floral herbs um, and certainly your orange peels and or uh, melon peels that help to reduce dampness, cut the phlegm, and allow your body to be less encumbered so that it can fight against those nasty colds and flus that tend to circulate um, around our lives in those cold winter months. Otherwise, just eat nice and healthy and uh, stick to the stuff that comes from the trees and um, enjoy the process in the meantime.